Isis, really. If you've been enjoying my Who Is She Really series, this is a really metaphysical and astronomical inquiry into who is Isis, the great mother Egyptian goddess Isis. She has so many wonderful myths associated with her. I could just tell a wonderful story or a myth about her, but today I want to talk about this stellar connection that Isis has with her beloved husband Osiris and their beloved son Horus. So in ancient Egyptian pyramids, Isis is often depicted with another beloved goddess, Septet, who they're sometimes said to be twins or the same goddess. Septet represents the star Sopdet, which is Sirius B, the brightest star in the night sky. And the helical rising of Sirius was celebrated by ancient Egyptians for thousands of years as it portended the flooding of the Nile. So their beloved star would return at this exact moment, which we know is the Lion's Gate Portal 88, the helical rising of Sirius B. And they would worship Sopdet and the beloved mother goddess Isis. In these same hieroglyphs, there is depictions of Sopdet's beloved, Sa, and Sa is Orion, the constellation Orion, which the Great Pyramid of Giza and the other two major pyramids represent Orion's belt. Sopdet and her beloved husband, Sa, are Sirius, and the constellation of Orion. So who is their beautiful son Horus, begotten in the myth of Isis and Osiris after Osiris is killed by his evil brother Set and dismembered, Isis takes his phallus and artificially inseminates herself, so to speak, with the beloved sun god Horus. And Horus Sopdu is shown as the third star. The constellation Orion is the father, and Septet is Sirius B, and then this Sopdu is our sun, our star, our home star, Horus, the most beloved solar deity of all of ancient Egypt. So I hope you enjoyed this. Who is Isis really? Who is she really? If you want to see more of my Who Is She Really series, check out the rest of the channel for many of our beloved goddesses. And if you enjoyed this, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, you can do so now. And visit the links below to come deeper into the Divine Feminine Mystery School training where you can work directly with goddess archetypes to embody them in your life for your empowerment, your awakening, and your sovereignty. Only love.